Hello, I'm excited to show you a Google accessibility feature and it's called reading mode and it's in Google Chrome browser. So ultimately this feature will be available to you no matter where you're going, whether it's a website, article, anything like that, if you're using Google Chrome as your browser. So if you heard about this tool before, I had talked about it last spring and it was available to some of our users. So it was available on a lot of our staff devices because our version of Chrome supported it, but our students were a few versions behind. Students should all have access to this now, as well as all staff, so everyone can start leveraging this super amazing feature. And reading mode in Chrome is an accessibility feature, so it allows you to have some options whenever you're reading on your screen. So it gives you the option to change the color contrast, the font size and style, the spacing, and much more. So to open it, it is very easy. I'm gonna move my screen here a little bit so you can see better. If I am in Google Chrome, there's this little side panel picker button that is right beside my Chrome profile picture. So if I click this, you'll probably see some of your bookmarks, other things that you might be using. You can add a tab from here if you want. So this menu is just helpful in general. But one of the really cool features is reading mode is now an option on this drop down menu. If you haven't seen it before, I really recommend that you check it out. So if I select reading mode, what it will do will take this website that I have over here on the left hand side of my screen and makes it a little bit more flexible if I have some different reading options that I need from an accessibility standpoint. If I want this to take up a larger space of my screen, I can slide it on over. And here's where I can change the font style if I would like. I prefer sans serif when I'm reading on a screen and that's really recommended. You can change the font size so it's bigger. I can decrease it if I would like. I can change the color palette. So I have it on dark mode right now, but I can do default. Um, and it actually declutters the screen too. So if you notice, I don't have ads or other things on here. So that's just also really helpful if you have a good article, but don't want the clutter or distractions. I can change it into light mode, yellow and blue. So yellow mode can be really helpful for some of our students with low vision needs. Uh, and if I click this spacing button, I can make it, this is a standard, but I can also increase the spacing if that helps me out. And I can even increase the spacing between words and letters as well. So I have mine set on very wide, but yours is probably set on default. So I can change this and play around with it should I like. So it's a really helpful feature. It's pretty amazing. Thought I would show that to you. The original article and links will still work on here. And if I ever wanted to still make sure that I can see the pictures that go along this one in the videos, I can also still pull those up, but have my reading over here in my preferred format on this side of the screen. And if I ever need to close reading mode to go somewhere else, I can always just click this button again. That tab is gone. And if I was in reading mode last time I opened it, it will open reading mode one more time from there. So that is reading mode. It's amazing. It's an accessibility tool and it's available for all of our students in BCSE now. So show it to them and check it out.